Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to announce the First Lady of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton, and Congressman James McGovern. On behalf of the Alvaro School Committee, it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome the First Lady, Mrs. Clinton, and all of you, our honored guests, including the Commissioner of Education, Frank Haydu, and Deputy Commissioner, Dave Driscoll. Welcome to our village. Our city is indeed a village when you consider its many social service agencies working together, its hundreds of volunteers, and its spirit of caring. Our school system, with its mission to develop citizens for a democratic society, is part of this village, as demonstrated by our community service programs, our school councils, and our hundred or so business and community partnerships. On behalf of Project Connect, our Early Childhood Advisory Council, Attleboro's young children and their families, I would like to say that we are deeply honored with your visit today, First Lady. Our heartfelt thanks go out to Mrs. Clinton and to Congressman McGovern for their dedication to young children and their interest in early childhood issues. Thanks to Project Connect, these children were having a wonderful time in an environment rich with learning. I knew then that I wanted to be a part of it all. I decided to pursue a career in teaching and in doing so, a short, promising future for Charlie and myself. For those of you in the back, I have a photo of that I would be happy to share with you. But being a parent is the most wonderful, exciting, and frightening experience of my life. And that is why I am so grateful for a program like Project Connect. Uh, thank you, Superintendent, for letting me see one of the wonderful schools in this school district. I want to thank everyone who is part of the school system, especially those who are on its board and have shepherded it to uh, this uh, position. I want to thank everyone connected with Project Connect, particularly its director, Lynn, who. Uh, guided me around, showing me some of the projects that I was able to see earlier with uh, the congressman. 
I also want to thank the principal and teachers of the Hyman Fine Elementary School, and I want to thank the students whom I was able to meet earlier in the gymnasium, and I wish all of you could have seen them because uh, they certainly were a picture-perfect advertisement for uh, public education and for the mission of this school district, which, as I heard the superintendent describe it, is preparing citizens for a democratic society. It is the most important function of public education, and I want to congratulate and salute the citizens of Attleboro for making it the mission. So what you're doing here is extremely important. And as Jim said, I'm here because I'm trying to highlight around the country success stories like Project Connect and the partnership you have with the Attleboro School District, private child care centers, and the private and not-for-profit sectors in this community. So I hope that the work you're doing here in Project Connect will continue to flourish and affect the lives of the children and families here in Attleboro. But I also hope that what you're doing will spread wide and far, and that maybe because of this visit, some people will come and visit with Lynn or Yolanda or some of the other members of Project Connect or the school district and say, tell us about this, and you'll be able to give them a hand. And then I do hope that the President's child care bill will pass so that there will be some funding that will serve as incentives for schools and communities to do what you've done. But I think the most important ingredient in your success, and I saw it as I sat up here and listened to the speakers, are the people who are in this audience. I felt like I was at a pep rally for early childhood learning and education. But I think equally important to the future of our country is what you are doing here because you are giving a gift to the future by investing in the children and families of Attleboro. And in years to come, the health and success of this community will be enhanced because of what you did. And I believe people will look back and say thank you to the far-sighted citizens of this community for understanding what really matters. Thank you very much.